All right, guys. So the head of the RNC um, went on Fox News, was talking about the midterm elections that are upcoming. And um, <laughs> she, uh, she made a point that is particularly hilarious because a lot of the dialogue over the past few days has been this argument from Republicans that Democrats only want to run on fear, man. They want to run on fear. And us, like, intelligent Republicans, we're above that. We're better than that. And we're not running on fear. We're running on, like, truth. Well, look at this point that she ends up making. And this went viral because it's, like, one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. Bill Clinton weighed in. He thinks that Republicans have a way of trying to win. Listen, listen to him here. You have to note, the Republicans always close well. Why? Because they find some new way to scare the living daylights out of swing voters about something. That's what they did in 2021, where they made critical race theory sound worse than smallpox. Okay, by the way, I don't think what he's saying is, you can't argue against it. I mean, remember, which election was it? It was a recent election where they made a big deal out of a migrant caravan coming to the United States. Like, all of a sudden, the argument is like, there are hordes of MS-13 gang members who are going to break down your grandma's door. It was just, it was so ginned up and so fake. But it's one of the arguments they went with. Shit, back to 2004, Kerry and Bush. At a time when the Iraq war was going on, and going terribly, by the way, um, the Bush administration and the Bush campaign decided, we're going to scare everybody about gay people. We're going to try to make this argument that we should have a constitutional amendment to ban gay marriage. This is what they do. This is what they do. Obviously, you know, again, during the Iraq war era, one of the things they ran on was be afraid, be very afraid. The terrorists are coming and the Democrats um, who are skeptical of the Patriot Act and the NSA spying, they're unpatriotic and they're with the terrorists. All these assholes have is fear. All they have is fear. So he's right about that. Now, by the way, I'm no fan of Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton was a horrendous president and most of his achievements were right wing so-called achievements. So no defender of Bill Clinton, but on this specific point, oh, he's 100% right. Now watch how she, Ronna McDaniel, turns around, head of the RNC here, and proves what Bill Clinton is saying without even realizing it. Watch. I mean, I, I, Greg got felt last night on the five. It's, well, he said the Democrats have been trying to scare people as well. I know. I was going to say, like, newsflash, Bill, um, your party's doing that just fine. We don't need to help you with that at all. You're scaring voters everywhere with the open border. I mean, just last month, 2000. The open border, she said. What open border? There is no open border. An article came out the other day in Axios talking about how we, we've we had a, a record number of arrests at the border. A record number. Biden had in place most of his time in office remain in Mexico, a Trump era policy. Title 42, a Trump era policy that said there's no due process. If you come in this country, we're just going to kick you right out. Open border. What are you talking? These people don't live in reality. Biden was VP uh, of Obama. Obama was called the deporter in chief because he shattered all deportation records. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? But wait, this gets better. This gets better. Thousand pounds of fear scaring voters everywhere with the open border. I mean, just last month, 2,000 pounds of fentanyl came across our border. That, that could. 2,000 pounds of fentanyl came across our border and it was seized and it was stopped. So in other words, the problem was addressed. There was a solution and she's fear-mongering over it? No, I mean, I understand fear-mongering over it if it got through. It didn't get through. There's been a number of giant seizures of uh, fentanyl at the border. Now, by the way, again, how do you fix that problem? Legalize, tax, and regulate drugs. Fentanyl is only killing people because it's being used to cut heroin, which people are buying on the black market, and they're dying. That's, that's uh, the fentanyl crisis. Well, guess what? Why are people going to get heroin? Because we cracked down on the pain pills that people were taking and people wanted their fix. So they're going to the black market to get the heroin. There were fewer overdoses when it was just pain pills. Now that we cracked down on the pain pills, now it's heroin and people are dying because of fentanyl overdoses. This is a fact. This is a fact. So again, the solution here would be to end the war on drugs. That's the solution. Legalize tax and regulate, or at the very least, decriminalize tax and regulate. But wait, I still haven't gotten to the best part. I keep interrupting here. The open border. I mean, just last month, 2,000 pounds of fentanyl came across our border. That, that could kill 500 million people. We're coming into Halloween. Every mom in the country right now is worried, what if this gets into my kid's Halloween basket? You're talking about the rainbow The fentanyl. rainbow fentanyl. What if my, my teenager gets this? And the Bill Clinton. 
fentanyl and Halloween candy. Now, by the way, it's not fentanyl. 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 Not fentanyl. See, this they don't know anything, man. They don't know anything. I want to hear that again. Let's go. Open border. I mean, just last month, 2,000 pounds of fentanyl came across our border. That, that could kill 500 million people. We're coming into Halloween. It could kill 500 million... We don't even have 500 million people in this country. We have like 330 million thereabouts. There aren't even 500 million people. What are you talking about? Really? Are you genuinely concerned about 500 million people overdosing because of laced Halloween candy? With the open border. I mean, just last month, 2,000 pounds of fentanyl came across our border. That, that could kill 500 million people. We're coming into Halloween. Every mom in the country right now is worried. What if this gets into my kid's Halloween basket? You're talking about the rainbow The fentanyl. rainbow fentanyl. What if my, my teenager gets this? And the Bill Clinton... What a preposterous scenario. And by the way, we don't run on fear at all. Oh my God, we're going to overdose from Halloween candy. Why would any drug dealer take their product and put it in Halloween candy to prank people? No drug dealer would ever do that. Why would they do that? There's no reason. To, it's, it's such a ginned up narrative. It's so fake. It's such bullshit. Every mother in the country is worried about their kid ODing on fentanyl because they had a Snickers bar on Halloween? Are you fucking mental? Again, proves the point. We don't run on fear. Fentanyl laced Halloween candy. Ah! Every mother in America, millions of mothers in America are terrified of this. My guess is you go around and ask, uh, almost no mothers are terrified by this. I mean, I guess now all the mothers who watch Fox News who have lost their minds long ago. Maybe they're worried about it, but this is not a broad concern for the country. Now, by the way, let me also add this argument that like, well, Democrats are scaring people. That's their move. The Democrats are scaring people, air quotes, about stuff that is real. Like when they say, hey, I think Republicans are going to take away abortion rights. And then they do that. The Supreme Court overturns Roe versus Wade. That is fear based on something you should be scared about. So it is legitimate. It is genuine. It's one thing to fear monger when there's nothing at the core of what you're arguing. It's another thing to quote unquote fear monger when the thing is happening. So by the way, the other thing Democrats are fear mongering on is like, hey, just so you know, they came for abortion now, but they're going to go further. They're going to do a national abortion ban. And then Lindsey Graham, who was running around saying abortion is a state's rights issue. So leave it up to the states. Now he flipped and said, let's do a national abortion ban. So if Democrats are scaring people about that, they are correct to do it. And by the way, if you think they're going to stop at 15 weeks, I got a bridge to sell you. That will only get more extreme and more extreme and more extreme over time. Guaranteed. The other thing is, now Democrats are saying, well, Republicans are going to come for gay marriage next. You want to know why? Because Clarence Thomas said in his Supreme Court decision on abortion, let's do Obergefell next, which is gay marriage. And you have 157 Republicans in the House say, I am voting against gay marriage. 195 Republicans voted against the right to contraception. So no, any state, if they want to, can ban the uh, condoms and the pill. This is how they voted. I'm just telling you what they did. So you're telling me if you give them power, there's nothing to be fearful of? There's a lot to be fearful of. It is legit to be fearful of that. Shit, it's, it's legit to be fearful of virtually all of their economic policies. All they want to do is cut taxes for the rich and deregulate. They're very open about that fact. Well, what happens every time you cut taxes for the rich and deregulate? A massive explosion in, in, in income and wealth inequality. It screws over working people. You also destabilize the economy and you have the boom-bust cycles. I mean, this is, this is a, a party that doesn't want to make any changes to our healthcare system. Now, I have many arguments against the Democrats. They're not for Medicare for all. Many of them are not even for a public option, which is inexcusable. But at least they gave $64 billion more to Obamacare, which is going to give millions more people health care. The, the Republicans will actively sit there and defend a system where 100 million Americans have medical debt. 100 million, 41% of the country has medical debt. And 120,000 of them owe over $10,000. They like that. They support that. One of, the, one of their um, politicians came on Fox News and said, we're going to roll back the provision of the Inflation Reduction Act that lowers some prescription drug prices. They're openly arguing for higher drug prices. Should you be scared of that? Absolutely you should be. What are we talking about here? This is obvious you should be scared of that. So running on fear, if there is something to be fearful of, is legit. But what these guys fearmonger over is not legit at all. Somehow, you know, the teachers all across the country are 
trying to force your kid to be trans? What? What? What are we talking about here? Halloween candy is going to be laced with fentanyl and kill all these kids? And every mother in America is worried about... Preposterous. What a goofball. I mean, I feel silly even covering this and talking about this because the arguments are so weak. But anyway, there you have it. All right, guys, that's the show for today. I love you all very much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, if you're listening on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It, you know, it doesn't cost you anything and it means the world to me and it helps me out in the algorithm. Like, subscribe, comment, click that bell notification so that uh, you get notifications when new videos drop. That certainly helps uh, a lot as well. Um, gotta, gotta give your boy some love because the algorithm certainly never does, as you all know. And um, everybody check out the show on any of the podcasting apps that you like to use because now the full shows are available. Every day we have a show over there. I think that's kind of cool. Sometimes I listen back for mistakes uh, so I can, you know, clean it up in, in the next show or whatever. And uh, big shout out, as always, to the patrons. You make this show work. Big shout out, as always, to the uh, Substack subscribers for Crystal Kyle and Friends. I love you guys very much, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.